What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple animation like this in After Effects without using any plugins in just a couple minutes. Now while this is pretty simple to make, it can add a lot to your videos, especially when you're trying to transition to another scene or if you're referencing maybe a website link or an app name, it can really add a lot to your videos. So let's go ahead and get started. So once After Effects is open, we can go ahead and create a new composition, and I'm just gonna call this main. Now you can select whatever preset you want. I generally like to use 2997. I'm gonna be using 1920 by 1080. Now the duration of this composition is completely up to you, depending on how long you need this animation to be, but I usually use 10 seconds for this. And then once you're done, just select OK. Now the first thing we want to do is select our text tool and we're going to create a title here and you can type in whatever text you want and this is where you can change the font and the character spacing, line height, all that kind of stuff but the color isn't actually going to matter here because we will be filling it in with that background or that photo in just a couple minutes. You want to make sure you have aligned that and you've centered the anchor point there. I'm just using this motion to script to center that anchor point but you don't have to have this plugin to do that. And once you have your title, we're going to go ahead and create a new composition for that title. So we're going to right click and select pre-compose. And we're going to call this title or whatever you want, but I'm just using title for now. And then we're going to make sure we're still in our main composition and we're going to create a white background by just double clicking the rectangle tool. And that's going to fill the whole composition with that rectangle. Now, this is where you can change the color of the background. I like to use white because it's just clean. If you want to use black or any other color, you can do that here. Then we want to drag our title above the other rectangle. And this is because we want our background to be behind our text, obviously. Then we're going to create one more composition, and I promise this is the last. We're just going to call this background and hit enter. And this is where we're going to fill in the text with a video or a photo, whatever you want to add here, you're going to put it in this composition. So I'm using kind of this abstract space and particles clip, which I'll try and put a link down in the description if you want to use this exact clip. And you can add any effects to this. I usually like to add a Gaussian blur, and I also like to add some saturation just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting and bright. So the way I do that is I grab the hue and saturation, and of course you can change the color to whatever you want. I just like to pick the brightest colors from that clip. So that looks like it's going to be the pinks or kind of those blues. And then I just like to bring up that saturation. Now once you finish editing your background, then you can come back to the main composition. And obviously we don't see anything and the reason is because we haven't added our background in. So you want to drag your background in and you want to put it as the very bottom layer. Then you want to click on your shape layer and we can rename this to something like white BG just to keep it clear. And you want to come to the track mat and select alpha inverted mat and it's going to select the title. Now as we go through our sequence you'll see that the background is actually moving through our text. Now any changes you make in here, so let's say I select this clip and I remove that hue and maybe I add some lightness, whatever I do, you'll see that it updates in the composition there. Now this does look pretty cool, but we don't actually have anything moving as far as animation goes. And this is actually the easy part because we're only using a couple keyframes to bring this text to life. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our white background and our background composition and select P on our keyboard. Then you wanna alt click the clock icon. And that what that's gonna do is bring a couple of other options down here. And the one we're gonna focus on is this little squiggly twirling icon. And this is what's called a pick whip. And basically it just will mirror whatever settings and parameters that you link it to. So if we click and drag this, we're gonna hover over the position of the white background. And now, whenever we move the white background, you'll see that the background behind it is also moving with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in about a second or so into our composition and I'm gonna select a keyframe. And then I'm gonna to come to the very beginning and I'm gonna drag this off screen. And depending on your composition size, it should be just around 1500 or 1600 or so. And then when we play it back, you'll see that that white background as well as the video background just 
animate up. But it's still kind of boring, so what we want to do is select both of these keyframes and go to our graph editor. And we're going to select both of those again. We're going to bring the right one all the way down. And then what you want to do is just select the right one and bring this arrow all the way to the left until it hits that midpoint. What this is going to do is it's going to speed up and then kind of settle into the animation like so. And once it's rendered, you'll see something like this. And the last thing we're going to do is just scale down our text. So what I like to do is make it really big. I like to maybe start around 125, maybe 130% at the beginning and you set a keyframe there, and then come all the way over to the end of your animation, maybe it's around eight seconds or however long it is, and then set it to 100. And this just adds a little bit more movement in addition to that video background. So now you have the white background coming in, you've got the video background filling in the text, and then that text is also just shrinking down a little bit. Now wherever you wanna end your animation, it's really simple, just go back to the white background and select a keyframe on the left here, and then come over to when you want it to end. So I'll go to nine seconds here, and then just bring that animation back off again. So now when you play your animation back, you get something like this, which is what we saw at the beginning of this video. Now in order to make sure that our motion is always just moving no matter what, you do wanna make sure that that scale keyframe is placed at the end of the last keyframe for your background. So you can see these are my keyframes for the white background moving off. And you see I've placed that scale keyframe after that last keyframe. So anytime you look at the text, it is scaling down the whole animation. Now one thing to note here is if you want this animation to scale up over whatever video or photo you have behind it, maybe you have a screen recording or whatever and you're working on here, then you want that white background to fade over it you wanna make sure you use the right export settings. So when you come up to your main composition and you select File, Export, Render Queue, come into the Output Module, and where it says Channel, select RGB plus Alpha. And what that's gonna do is if you switch on your transparency grid, wherever there should be transparency, it'll just use that grid, and that is essentially where your video or whatever other media you're using under it will go. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope for those of you that are trying to improve the quality of your videos or maybe your projects, that this technique has helped you. I know while it may look pretty cool, it also means that for every title you use in your video, you have to go export through After Effects. But because it's such a short little transition, it doesn't take that long. And honestly, it's worth it to your viewers and your audience. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.